Hi everybody, this is Jerry Capote of WallDecalBusiness.com. Thanks for stopping by. In this video, I'm going to show you how I design a wall decal from scratch, and I'm going to use a character font. Then I'm going to take that decal, I'm going to create the picture or thumbnail sample that I use to upload to my Etsy, and I'm going to do that here. And then I'm going to upload it to my Etsy, so I'm going to do all those three things right now. So starting with the design, so I'm going to create a new design, and I like to use 22 inches by 22 inches as my standard size uh, for my wall decals. And I'm going to choose my font. And I'm going to type in what I want. Actually, it's kind of small, but you can see it right now as I resize this. There it is. And right now, that font is editable, so I can actually uh, type in anything I want. It's, it is editable. But there we go. That's exactly how I want it. I'm going to just resize it. Now, what I'm going to do is to right click and create the outlines and those are the outlines that the cutter will be able to see uh, to cut the design when I'm ready to design it but I'm not ready yet so right now since it's after I did the outlines I'm able to double click triple click and get go into these and actually separate these as, as I want and they might not be editable in terms of typing in but I could move them around and stretch them if I want and there we go now I'm going to just finish off with this little bit here there we go and I'm gonna move it exactly where I want it there we go just so I can see it a little better maybe right around there right around there now if I leave it just like this of course the cutter is gonna cut through all these lines and make all these little small cuts that I don't want so the way I'm going to fix that is using my Roland, Roland Cut Studio plugin, I can click on this Merge Overlapping Pass uh, option, click on that, and it takes all that stuff away. So it's a neat, neat little tool to have to, uh, so, you, so you can get, a, get rid of those lines that you don't want your cutter to cut through. And it kind of blends everything in. So there it is. There's my design. And my design is, you know, I'm, I'm going to try to sell it for, you know, this size here, which is like a 22 by 22. Make it about that size. And so my design is really ready for, for selling. Now, this is actually a 22, yeah, 22 by 22. It's ready for selling. I can maybe fix it up just a little bit here. It's a little bit off there. And that's it. It's ready for selling. Okay, I can save it. And save it to my files if I want. I'm gonna save this um, desktop, and I'm gonna call it uh, Love. Yeah, there we go, Love. There we go. So it's saved to my desktop. Good. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this same design now, and I'm gonna use it to create a sample thumbnail, uh, and I'm gonna. And I'm going to do that now. But first, before I do, I'm going to actually add a little color. I'm going to use my Oracle 631 color palette that I have. And I think I downloaded this from Sign Warehouse. And I'm going to choose King Blue. Okay, let's choose King Blue here for, for this one here. Nice. So I'm going to take this same design that I just created. That's now mine to sell on Etsy. And I'm going to pull up my Photoshop program. I was on Adobe Illustrator, by the way. Uh, now I'm on my Photoshop, and I'm gonna open up a a photo, stock photo that I purchased from iStock Photos. These are all my iStock iStock photos. I'm gonna open it, and I'm gonna put the design, place the design right here. But let me make sure I copy it. Right, Control Copy. Go back to my Photoshop, and I'm going to Control Paste it. And it's going to come in really big, so you can see, but I make this really small so I can see the whole, the whole thing. And then do like that, and then come back in. Of course, I was holding down my shift key, so it, uh, when I resize it, it resizes nice and proportionately. I do that every time. I'm going to size it so it kind of resembles a 22 by 22 in real life. There we go. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to enter and okay good enough that's going to be my sample photo let me make sure make sure my size image size that's a good image size uh and i'm gonna save it now i'm gonna save it to my desktop i'm gonna call this love 
love sample sample photo okay and I'm gonna save it as a JPEG because you can only upload as JPEG so save and okay and I'm gonna create one more for my Etsy I'm, I'm gonna do that by just uh, cutting it this way making it a little smaller so folks can see uh, a close closer you know close up of the of what I'm trying to sell them I'm gonna enter and that's it I'm gonna I just like to make sure that my image is a good size image size 1500 by 911 okay we're gonna keep it like that I'm gonna file uh, save as and it's gonna be a JPEG and it's gonna be on my desktop and I'm gonna call this love sample photo and that's it now I'm ready to upload to my Etsy so let's do that let's go to my Etsy now and I'm gonna add a new item to my Etsy but before I do actually I'm gonna copy some stuff from my from my other um, listings and I'm just gonna copy this right here all the way down because the same thing I put in all my listings so I'm gonna copy that now I'm ready to add new item to my Etsy and this is going to be who made it I did what is it a finished product uh, when did you make it made to order and then my category okay, that's going to take a little while there my category is housewares I normally use housewares uh, wall decal sometimes if it's for children I, ch I choose children but in this case this is going to be housewares uh, select the category I'm just going to choose words there and you can do variations and everything but here let me just upload my photos let's go to my desktop and I'm gonna look for love photo 2 actually I'm gonna use that photo 2 as my very first photo on Etsy because it's bigger and I'm gonna choose love sample photo the second one which is a little further looks further away there's a second photo and I add one more which is my um color choices so I'm gonna add that to my Etsy and that's that's it and that's it I'm gonna choose a title love wall vinyl decal maybe I can come up with a better title later on but for for this purpose that's it and I'm gonna the description is this item is a 70s version of love add some love to to your walls today that's a little cheesy but that's okay and I'm just gonna uh, describe it as the decal is 22 inches wide by 22 inches height and that's it and then I'm gonna paste all the other descriptions that I put in there you see everything the images for display samples all orders so let me change this they just need to uh, uh, choose a color okay that doesn't, that doesn't apply color selection and that's it everything else looks good recipient I you know don't really do too much of this here tags love wall decal wall art hippie is that how you spell hippie hippie hip and I can add some more later on wall vinyl decal and we'll add that and the price since this is a 22 by 22 I'm gonna calculate that I'm gonna charge $22 for this one and my quantity eh, I'll say I have about 15 in stock actually I have endless eternity in stock here so shipping I already have my shipping profile it's set and that's it let's see let's preview it let's see what it looks like ooh looks very nice nice and centered see what the other oh nice and my colors nice everything looks good this item is a sunny version of love add some love to your walls today all right looks looks good 
and I'm ready for uploading. Later I can um, edit this as I wish, but I'm going to publish it and let's see what it looks like in my store. It's a beautiful thing. There it is. If anybody goes into it, that's what they see. Very nice. I love it. So that's it. That's I just designed a wall decal from scratch. Came up with it. Dreamed it up. And uh, so I have it in my files now to, to sell at any time. Ready for cutting and selling. Uh, I created the picture using Photoshop. Right? And uh, created the thumbnails and the samples uh, so that I can upload to my Etsy. And then I upload it to my Etsy. And I... And that's it. I hope that helps. Um, come back soon and uh, we'll, I'll have more for you. So thanks for stopping by.